Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the app model runtime error codes you may be experiencing on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu, type in WS Reset. Best result should come back with WS Reset. Basically, we're just going to be resetting the Microsoft Store. So go ahead and select that to run the command here. And then once you know with that, hopefully that has resolved the problem. If not, we can also go back into the search menu and type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and close out of here. And you want to restart your device. And again, hopefully that should have resolved the problem at this point. If you're still having an issue, like again, with a specific application, we can try to repair it. So in order to do that, we go ahead and open up the search menu, type in apps and features. Best result should come back with apps and features. Go ahead and open that up. And now on the right side, you want to locate or search the apps list for whatever app you're having the problem with. So let's say we're having an issue with the camera app, for example. You can just select the three-dotted icon next to it and select Advanced Options. Scroll down, and you would select the option to repair. If the app isn't working right, we can try to repair it. The app's data won't be affected. Select Repair. And if that doesn't work, you can try to reset it. The app's data will be deleted, so go ahead and select Reset. So this will permanently delete the apps that are on this device, including your preferences and sign-in details. So strongly recommend creating a backup somewhere before you proceed. And anyway, go ahead and select the reset button. And once that's done, again, close out of here and restart your device once more. Now, if you attempt to launch the application, hopefully you should be able to successfully and that this tutorial was able to help resolve your problem. So, as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do be able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.